What's up, you guys? We got some big news, um, big Marvel news, um, big Marvel week, guys. We had uh, some huge Mar news in Marvel this week, right? Um, yeah, so um, let's get settled, guys. We got, we saw Spider-Man No Way Home trailer this past Monday. Epic trailer. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in this is um, in this video. I'm gonna talk about the main topics. As you see on my thumbnail, Doctor Strange 2, rumors, news, leaks, whatever. Talk about a new Marvel game coming out next year, around springtime, I believe. And yeah, we're going to get right on with that. Right, guys? Okay, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk Spider-Man first. Let's talk Spider-Man first. And then we'll get to the main subject. And, um, all right. All right. So this past Monday, Spider-Man was just released. The No Way Home trailer was released on Monday. It was at CinemaCon. They got to see it first, and then a little bit later in the night, it became public, right? For everybody to see. And boy, this got everybody hyped and excited. It was the most received, got the most views of any trailer. It beats any, it beat Endgame. Again, millions and millions. It, it has the record now. It has the record now. It uh, topped Endgame. Not just by a little, by a lot. This is the most anticipated movie of this year. You can tell now. This is the most anticipated movie of this year. Many movies coming out this year. This is clearly number one right now. And that trailer did not disappoint. That trailer really, really did not disappoint. That trailer got everybody hyped up for. I mean, like, look, look. Spider-Man's uh, probably Marvel's number one character. Uh, whether you like it or not, it's always been like that. They're, they're the Batman of the Marvel comics. I'm not, I'm not talking about just the movies. I'm talking about all around comics, TV shows. Video games, whatever, all around, because they most Marvel mostly focus on Mar on Spider-Man more than the other properties, and then they make the most money. It's the most popular character now for Marvel all, all around. But this trailer, I'm gonna briefly what I thought about this. I love the trailer. I think oh whoa, well, I think overwhelmingly a lot of people love the trailer. It was a great trailer. So clearly, what we saw is. Peter is dealing with the, the ramifications of being his identity being revealed to everybody and the murder of Mysterio that he's being framed for, right? And now he has to go to court, court, um, or wherever, go, you know, has to go through the legal process, all that stuff. And everybody knows who he is. It's putting a toll on his friends, his family, MJ, um, who he's in a relationship with. And he, he could... He could you can tell that. So that's why he goes to Doctor Strange. He wants everybody to forget his uh, who he is. Unfortunately, as Strange is doing the spell, Wong doesn't like it. As Strange is doing the spell, right? It sounds like Peter is ha having second thoughts because he didn't want his aunt not to forget MJ. Is he not? Uh, he did, it sounds like he didn't want everybody, but he wants the majority of people. Like, but fortunately, <laughs> the spell has gone wrong. I guess the uh, stuff went wrong. And then we get to see the multiverse, right? Now during the multiverse, we got to see some of the some of the cameos, right? Some basic things that confirmed who's gonna be in the movie. Okay, let's go through. We saw the pumpkin bomb. We know Green Goblin's in it, right? Green Goblin, William Defoe. We saw electricity. Electro's gonna be in it, obviously. He's confirmed, right? I mean, I think we. I'm pretty sure Sandman's in it. Sandman's in it. There's that one scene with, um, with uh, one picture of Sandman in it. Besides, like, besides electricity. There's this one scene where Peter is sitting down in the, in the back. It's very dark, but you see claws in the tail. And it's very dark. It's hard. Sometimes you, a lot of people either said, saw it or did. But if you, look, if you look over and over, it's clearly the lizard. We know the lizard. He's trying to get out of this barrier. It looks like this prison, but a magic prison. Because of the force field, the barrier force field. So it looks like a magic prison the lizard's in. Also, at the end of the show, at the end of the trailer, um, trailer, we see a line say, "Hello, Peter from Doc Ock, Alfred Molina, D H Alfred Molina, Doc Ock." So we know five of the six 
Sinister Six are in it. Uh, Green Goblin, Electro, Sandman, Doc Ock, and Lizard. Okay? The sixth final villain, we don't know. It could be up in the air. It could be Vulture, Mysterio. Yeah, I mean, the Mysterio, yeah, maybe died. Or did he? Did he? Vulture, Mysterio, Scorpion, maybe. Um, Rhino. Actually, I'm doing a stream on that tomorrow at 8 or 9 p.m. Talking about who you think the six scissors. Six villain is gonna be so come join me for that tomorrow. So that's Spider-Man basically in a nutshell. Um, yeah, that's a great trailer. But let's get into some Marvel news. Um, some big news. Okay, Doctor Strange news. Okay. So, Doctor Strange is going to, to Multiverse of Madness is a continuation of the Spider-Man and the WandaVision, right? Spider-Man No Way Home and WandaVision, remember, right? So, according to, uh, according to um, reports and people who have inside information on uh, Doctor Strange 2, Wanda is the main villain. It's going to be the main villain of Doctor Strange 2. So, yeah, uh, that, yeah, Doctor Strange 2, so I... I don't know how I feel about Wanda being the main villain. Um, I guess you could make it very, very powerful. She's a very powerful Avenger, of course. She's very powerful. Like Wanda's one of the most powerful, arguably the most powerful being in the MCU, right? Who, her and Captain Marvel, especially overall, definitely up there. Overall. Also, so so. It's a, so, yeah, but here's the thing. Apparently, there's going to be a Fox character and Sonic characters, right? But the Fox character just might be a powerful mutant making his debut in the MCU. And, according to reports I'll share with you guys, it's going to be Professor X, but we'll go into more detail, right? I'll go into more detail. So, let's put it up. You know, oops, oops, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> okay, here we go. Rumors that 20th Century Fox, look at the head, okay, headline, Doctor Strange rumor, Scarlet Witch battle, battle major X-Men character in Multiverse of Madness. Yes, that's just... Rumor that 20th Century Fox X-Men movie universe could cross over Marvel Cinematic Universe got a fresh shot in the arm last night. Okay, this is a couple of days. This is like yesterday or two days ago. A couple of sources appear to suggest that Wanda Maximum of Elizabeth Olsen will come face to face with Charles Xavier. Charles Xavier, yes. In the forthcoming Doctor Strange of Madness, the reports which originated with Scoopers, Daniel RPK, and viewer and Anan, of course, and then Anan. Suggests that the version of the Marvel Comics uh, suggests yes, the Marvel Comics Illuminati report. So even Illuminati might appear. The Marvel ver Comics Illuminati will appear in the film. These claims were bolstered at least somewhat when former Variety writer Chris Ta Ta Tapley Tarpley shared some images from the comics that correlate with the rumors. In addition these to Xavier, the rumors places like Balder the Brave and Captain Carter at the center of the story. Some of the characters have already been rumored previously making this feel like confirmation. Although that assumes the sources are building on existing rumors and adding until they know. Viewer none suggests that true the Illuminati will appear, represented by Professor X. Yes, Professor X is the rumor and Fox character. Captain Carter, you know from What If, the first episode of What If. Bother Brave, I'm sorry, I don't know who Bother Brave is. Monica Rambo, we saw her in uh, WandaVision, right? And she's giving me the Marvels. Mortal, Mortal is Doctor Strange, you know. Mortal. And last month, the spec ramped up of that Haley Atwell will return as a live action Captain Marvel after her appearance in What If. While X Men franchise star Patrick Stewart admitted that he has chatted with Captain Feige about possibly of reprising his role at some point. This interview came early in 2020 and suggested that a conversation had been missing. Tapley tweeted out shots of Wanda and Professor X, followed by the image of the Illuminati from the comics, featuring. Xavier, Reed Richards, Black Bolt, Namor, and Iron Man. 
and a separate age of Captain Britain. Okay, okay. So that's very interesting, right, guys? Whoa, so, so yeah, so Professor X is rumored to be the rumor mutant in uh, Doctor Strange of Madness, and Illuminati consists of Bat Captain Carter, um, Mordo, Monica Rambo, who else? Boulder the Brave, Professor X, whatever, appeared in the film. And apparently there's going to be Sonic characters in the film, just no, we don't know who, but yes, Wanda is also scheduled to be the main villain. I suspect there'll be other villains in there, maybe a Doctor Strange villain. Cause there's, I don't know. I think there's, I think there's a room. There's a talk of Manifesto appearing in um, Spider-Man. I don't think Manifesto is gonna be in Spider-Man. I'm sorry, I'm playing the pen here. Uh, I do think. I think it's Nightmare. Cause I don't. There's this one scene in the trailer where we saw Spider-Man fighting Doctor Strange. I don't think that's Doctor Strange. I think it's somebody else. Another magic character posing as Doctor Strange. I don't know. It could be Nightmare. It could be Manifesto. Okay. But yeah. So th these three movies are like. Well, well not. These two movies are continuation. One Division is basically the starting point of these three movies. Or, of these two movies. One Division, Spider Man, and then Doctor Strange. Right? They all c connect. And there's a rumor out there that the Fantastic Four might be finally introduced. Not as, not as characters, but like the Avengers building that once was in New York might be turned into the Baxter building. Okay, okay. So uh, that's uh, that's Doctor Strange too. Take it. F uh, let's take it for what it is. Um, tell me in the comments. Does that pique your interest seeing Professor X played by Professor Xavier in the back in the in the in the MCU, or would rather prefer James McAvoy? I know on a stream last night with some of my friends on Mad Max as movie man as entertainment stream. I think a lot of people rather prefer James McAvoy, but you know what? I think it's just different. I think it's a different thing. So, yeah, tell me in the comments below here, okay? So, okay, let's get on to some other Marvel news. Okay, so there's a holiday special. For Halloween 2022 called, I'm going to get it from Collider. Yes, uh, d Collider. Uh, Marvel reported developing a new Disney Plus Halloween special around Werewolf by Night. They're looking for the rap. The rap came from the rap. The rap, while well, Marvel didn't reveal which version of the character is adapting, the studio is looking to cast a Latino male in his 30s and this tends to start production early 2022. So... They're looking for, so Werewolf by Night, a holiday special. It's not going to be like a series, a Disney Plus series. It's going to be just a one-off thing. But they're looking for a Latino actor in his 30s to play Werewolf by Night for a holiday special. Halloween, for Halloween in 2022. And they're looking to start production early 2022. So early next year, right? Uh, this would be interesting. We know, um, it's, we know Disney is also going down the supernatural route, right? They're going, they're going down different roads stuff, but they are going down the supernatural route, so I like this, I like this. Now, any other Marvel news before I get to my favorite thing that made me very excited? Or has me very excited? Oh, we know Black Panther 2 is going to introduce Ironheart, star Dominique Thorne, ahead of Disney Plus. So, Ironheart is going to make her first appearance in Black Panther 2, not the Ironheart show. Not the Ironheart. Uh, uh, not the Armor Wars show, but it's because she make her first Ironheart show. Sorry, she's going to Ironheart show. My God, she's going to be in uh, Armor Wars, right? But she's going to make her first appearance in Black Panther 2, played by Dominic Thorne. Okay, let's go on to um, what has me very excited. Uh, uh, I hope I don't get in trouble for this. Hope I don't get in trouble for this. Um, this is a game. This is a game that Marvel has announced, and I really enjoy it. It's. I'm gonna show you guys. I may get copyright. I may, I may, I may not. I may get a hit, 
but I don't care, man. I'm going to show you it. I really like this. We're going to go through it. So, this is a new game that uh, Marvel Entertainment announced called Marvel Midnight's Ones. Announcement trailer that was posted on the Wednesday. And, yeah, let's go through it and we'll talk about it. First, they conquered humanity's greatest evil. And she lay in rest. And they vanquished threats from beyond our stars. And she lay in rest. Captain Marvel. Doctor Strange. Ghost Rider. Right here is the Ghost Rider. I have no idea who this is, so I'll make it tell me who this is. I don't think made a focus, she's one of the focus points of the thing. I don't think it's a... Iron Man Wolverine. Tommy's two. I love this song. I don't know who this is, it's a demon, right? I don't know what her name is, somebody can tell me who the demon is. I don't know who this demon is. Can somebody fill me in who this is? I know she's the main um, villain in the film. Mother. That's her mother. Not now! Get out! Yeah, so it's coming March 22. So not not a long way off, right? Oh God, what? Seven months? Hey, who ate what the was rest that? Of my ramen? Okay, September one. Hey, okay. Who ate the rest of my ramen? Um, bad dog. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a demon hellhound. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting a new game. New game, right? Midnight Suns. Focusing on, uh, you know, Supernatural once again. So we saw like Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, Wolverine, um, Ghost Rider, Iron Man. I don't know who the main character is, but it's going to be Marvel Midnight Suns based on the uh, Midnight Comics, right? It's going to be launching worldwide in March 2022. It's going to be a tactical RPG game. So it's a role-playing game. I'm into that stuff. It's, I'm definitely getting this game. So yeah, um... I'm buying this game on day one. Like when it comes out, I'm gonna pre-order whenever it's available. Uh, I'm not sure what console is it gonna be. It's probably gonna be on all consoles. Probably be on. It hasn't didn't say. It's probably gonna be on uh, PlayStation Five, PlayStation Four, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, maybe the Switch. Yeah, 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 you could probably whatever, you could probably get on whatever console you have. But this looks interesting, it looks fun, I'm interested, man. Uh, one of them, like, uh, this is my big thing right here, this is huge, I'm very excited. This trailer, the song they're playing for this trailer. Thumbs up. But, oh god, I can't wait for March 22. And yeah, and a week from today, Shang-Chi is officially in theaters in public. So yeah, or Shang-Chi. And also, What If was a good episode. Uh, what I like about What If, we'll briefly go over that. 
we saw what happens. It looks like the Avengers are if spoiling here. The Avengers are not around in what if. They're dead. That's why we see Marvel zombies. I think that's why we see Marvel zombies in what if. Because the Avengers are dead. We got Iron Man is dead. Thor dies. Hawkeye dies. Black Widow dies. Um, Steve Rogers is never there, right? Because it's a different thing. Because this is a different time. This is instead of Steve Rogers, it's Captain Carter. She's Hawk dies, but I think only Captain Carter is really the one that doesn't die. But it's different. And yeah, and uh, we find out it was um Hank Hank Pym turned bad, turned an evil Hank Pym. We find out Loki comes in uh, with Asgard to evade Earth again, avenge his brother. It's great. Uh, this is gonna lead. I think this is leading to Marvel zombies because Avengers are dead. So I, I suspect the dead Avengers are gonna be zombies at one po at some point in the future episodes or in the, for the next whenever till from next week till it ends. So yeah. So um, with that. This is how I think about you guys. Two sweet. Sweet. Two. So, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and thank you guys. Take care.